Don't freak out. I know it's been a while. <laughs> it was not my intention to take off so much time from this channel. So for those of you who are still here, I appreciate you being here. Um, this is going to be kind of an all-in-one video where I'm going to update the channel and give you my one, yeah, that's right, just one <laughs> book review. So first of all, I want to start by saying that I had a lot of personal things that were happening that I needed to prioritize, and I should have taken the time to, you know, say that I was taking a break. Um, it just didn't happen. I did post something on my blog, letting people know that I was taking some time off from blogging, and there may have been some things on social media, but um, between death, sickness, um, work, drama, just like life in general, just a lot of things going on, um, I really did need to take some time to address some of those things. So you may notice that um, this isn't the normal quality of video that I do. And again, that's just because I wanted to go ahead and get this out and I haven't reset up my really good camera. But the next video that I do moving forward, I'll make sure I set that up um, before I start recording. Anyway, so um, a lot happened um, in that time that I had to, you know, take some time off. I left Twitter. I was never really using it you know, the way that it could have been beneficial to me in any way with all the stuff that's going on. I was like, that's just one less social media thing that I have to worry about. <laughs> I don't, to me, really wasn't that big of a deal. Like I said, since I wasn't really using it, I still have my Facebook and my Instagram. Um, those are the main places I guess people can reach out to me. Of course, I still have my blog, although I'm taking it in a very different direction. So it's not like I've disappeared off the planet. I'm just not on Twitter. Um, still on Goodreads, LinkedIn, um, other places where people are, I'm still there. Pinterest, Tumblr, whatever. Um, I am even considering going on TikTok, although I've not solidified that. I technically have an account. I've just never used it. All right. So now that that's out of the way, I want to talk about the fact that because I was going through so many things emotionally and personally, um, I only completed one book between June and now. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the one book I did complete and go ahead and share that review with you. Like I said, this is going to be an all in one video, people. Just a quick update. I am extremely behind on my Goodreads challenge. Uh, I believe I am. I'm, a, I'm five books behind, but I'm not sweating. <laughs> this Goodreads challenge does not really mean a whole lot to me the way it used to. Um, setting reading goals to me is still important. I'm still reading and that's what's important. Um, I can easily catch that up by reading a couple of graphic novels or some picture books or something like that. So if I decide it matters that much to me, I will get caught up. But for now, I'm just happy that I still enjoy reading because I'm at a point in my life where there's a lot of things that I used to enjoy that I just don't enjoy anymore, but I still enjoy reading. So I'm very excited to announce that the one book that I did happen to finish in the midst of all of this was a book written by one of the authors that I interviewed right here on this channel on the Read Local Show. And so let me go ahead and find that so I can pull it up for you. Whew. And luckily, it's a pretty um, high rated, star rated book because I had some duds uh, recently. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So I had Dreama Jowrich on the channel. Um, I very much enjoyed her interview. And we talked about her book, Entheophage. And then I read the book and I really enjoyed it. I gave it an overall star rating of four. And here is the very um, simple book review that I left for it. I read this book during a rough patch in my life, and it was a nice break from reality. Some of the science in this book is a little too hard for my regular consumption, but it did add a layer of believability to the fantastical plot. I really hope this author gets an option for screen rights on this story. This is such a relatable concept and very much in tune with the global climate. It's difficult for me to love a book that ends on a cliffhanger, but that it has more to do with my personal preference rather than the talent of this author. I get why the book ends the way it does and hope that the sequel is well underway. 
highly recommend it to science fiction fans, those with environmental concerns, lovers of diverse characters, and classic doom tales with redemption in sight. So that's just me using as few words as I can to explain that this book is totally worth reading. It's a little scary <laughs> how relatable it is, but sometimes things that reflect reality are what are the best stories out there. So if you're at all interested, check it out. It was, I'm glad that it was the one thing that I read. Um, I am currently reading something that I started a long time ago. And hopefully that next, um, at the end of this month, I'll have that and some other things to share with you in terms of book reviews. So I am almost done. Don't go away just yet. I did want to talk about one kind of fun thing that happened while I was, um, you know, taking some time. Um, this was planned a couple of months ago. So it's not like I, you know, came up with this at the last minute. Um, my niece graduated um, college in May and she knew exactly what she wanted as a gift from me and her uncle. And so she wanted to go to a Comic-Con and not just a regular local Comic-Con. We do those all the time. She wanted to go to a big con. So we found one in Raleigh. And so I actually posted a, um, a video to my Patreon community, but it's a public video. So if you would like to see the full kind of little wrap up I did of that with all the cool things that we saw, I highly suggest you go check out my Patreon channel. You do not have to support me financially to look at that because it's a public post, but you should totally check it out. I'll make sure I leave a link below um, as I always do. And just so you know, you can follow my Patreon community for free if you don't want to support me financially, that's fine. So there is some really cool content there. But in this video, I'm going to show you some of the cool things I got. I will go ahead and start and caveat by saying there is one item that I don't have because I left it with Tyla. She has it. I'm going to get it from her eventually. But if you do go and watch that um, video over on my Patreon, uh, you'll see the item that's missing. It's basically a pair of earrings, but I don't want to say too much. I would rather you watch the video and see for yourself what I'm missing. So before I get into it, um, I just want to show you some of the cool art um, from the event. The, this was our, we went for two days. Um, so our Friday badge, the guy who did the art for the, the event this year had a table set up. He released a Maleficent comic book and what else? He had some other comic books that he had worked on. And so we did take a selfie with him. You can see that in that video that I mentioned before. And so the first day we didn't get to see the guy. We tried to, but it was crazy. But on the second day we did get to see him. And not only did we get to see him, we got him to sign our badges. So it was really cool to see, you know, the guy who did this art, we stopped by his table and got him to sign our badges. That was a lot of fun. So let's see what other little goodies do I actually have here to show you. Of course, I collected a plethora of, um, you know, bookmarks and um, <laughs> and um, business cards, just all kinds of really cool stuff. Most of these people, I'm going to try to contact them to see if I can get them to be guests on this channel. Um, just because I like to do that kind of stuff. I always let people know, look, I'm not, I am not going to be your gateway to fame. However, I am a book fan. So whenever I can get other authors and creatives on this channel, you know, I'm looking out for you guys. So the thing that I got that I am most excited about, um, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I feel like the term girly girl is not what it used to be. Um, and I think that's a good thing because it used to be if you were a girly girl, you were pink all the time. You had long frilly hair. You wore long frilly dresses. And that was like the definition of a girly girl. Well, we have lots, a lot more open minded and modern um, um, concepts of, you know, femininity now. And so anyway, the whole point of me saying that is I never I've never been the kind of girl who carries like a purse, like a purse purse. But um, that doesn't mean that I don't want to like accessorize, if that makes any sense. So um, being able to have something that I could wear on my wrist has always been one of those things I'm like constantly looking out for. Uh, I do backpacks and things like that. But anyway, I got a new wristlet that I'm just like so excited about because it looks like a book and it's Edgar Allan Poe. It's a little wallet. It's a wristlet, but it looks like a book. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. I have already put some stuff in it, just, you know, to, you know, show that I have some stuff in it. 
but I was very excited to get this. So yes, that is one of the things that I got. Okay. What else did I get? Um, oh yes. If you guys do happen to watch that video that I mentioned is over on my um, Patreon, there's an artist, um, me and my niece dress up as the same character, but from different, I want to say decades. And this guy does like a portrait of these characters. And so we take a picture in front of the portrait. It's, it's, it's very kind of meta. Um, again, you just have to go check that video out. Anyway, I wanted to show you his little kind of postcard because his artwork is amazing. Everything that he does, pencil sketches, guys. He's not using anything other than pencils. I mean, yeah. So here's his QR code. And I also have it listed, which I don't know if you guys can scan it if it's backwards. I think it's I think it's okay in the other video though anyway so that was one of the things I got now another thing I got I already have this um but it was free so I picked up another one of these so this one I already have in my collection this was a free comic book based off the biblical story of Samson um the art in it is amazing um I picked this up from one of our local cons a while back the same guy was there and so I got another copy of it because I think I'm going to be doing a giveaway with this so you might be seeing this again so I collected that. Um, they did, um, when we went to meet the celebrity, we, we only did two celebrities. We had some issues trying to see celebrities. Um, but when we went to see Shamit Moore, they were handing out some free comic books. So this was the free comic book that we got um, when we went to see him. And I'm not saying that this um, comic book has anything to do with him specifically. It's just, that's one of the things they had um, at the table to see him. So I, once I read this, um, my niece also has a copy of it. So again, it'll be a matter of deciding, do we want to keep this in our collection or is this something that I might give away? So just be on the lookout for that. So as I mentioned, the guy who, you know, did the art for the event, we stopped by his table, took a selfie with him. He had a Maleficent comic book, which you can't really see because of my green screen. Everything that you don't see is green. That's why you don't see it. <laughs> and then he also had some other comic books, um, stuff that he worked on. Um, I don't believe English was his first language. <laughs> we were trying to decide whether he was a Spanish speaker or maybe it was another language that's um, similar to Spanish, um, say like maybe Italian or Portuguese or something like that. But regardless, he was fantastic. He was very patient with the communication difference between him and the fact that my husband has a really strong accent. And it was just a good time trying to set that whole thing up so that we could all get that selfie together. So again, that's something else you will see in that other video if you decide to check it out. And the last thing I wanna share is just the little booklet that they handed out at the event. Um, this was the Galaxy Con um, in Raleigh, 2023. So much really cool stuff in here um, just to kind of have and keep as a memento of the good times we had. So like I said, this was an all-in-one video. This was a, you know, an update, book review, haul, <laughs> um, and also kind of accounting my blessings. I appreciate all you guys who are here. I'm looking at the subscription count and it looks like we are almost at 110, which means it's almost time for another giveaway. So some of the things that I just showed you might be in that giveaway along with merch. You guys know I'm all about giving away some of my cool designs. So if we do hit 10, you'll be seeing a video from me about the next giveaway. So be on the lookout for that. And I promise not to take that much time off again without saying something. And um, oh, I'm currently working on season two of the Read All Over show. I wrapped up the Read Local show. So that's what's coming next. And guys, please stay safe. Be blessed. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You could also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that. Okay, bye-bye.